All right, acoustic take of uh, Unravel. So I'm Jesse Colton, 20, uh, oh I'm 30 years old, start over. <laughs> Right away when I came down here, it was just a different vibe to anywhere I've ever been. The people were different. It's one of the smaller places I've ever been. And right away, I kind of just could feel that it had a family vibe. In Ishkalak, it's just smiles, people asking about your day. Even if you don't know someone, they wave to you. If you know someone, you stop and you talk to them, period. Like that's, it's rude not to, right? Even if you barely know. When I first came down here, I also didn't speak Spanish, um, like barely any, you know, like kitchen Spanish, some fishing Spanish, but really not much. And I worked hard at that. I worked really hard at that. Oh, we got that cheesecake fresh. Boy, did I tell you this is my favorite, right? And also when I was down here, I met a group of independent guides that really had nobody marketing for them and really had nobody pushing fly fishing for them, but they were all really talented, really experienced, and were in a good part of their career. So I was lucky to have that guide pool, and that's when the wheels started turning for me about starting an operation here. ¿Cómo estás, Calvino? Bueno, ¿Cómo estás, hola. amigo? Hola. Buena clima hoy. Bueno. ¿Listo? Listo. Esperando. Yeah, I saw his tail. He likes to go fishing all the time. He's a, he loves what he's doing. So I think it's, it's really nice. He can talk to the guys all the time, all the clients, yeah. I have a rent until the 20th, but maybe we can go over and talk to Cecilia. Because when I get here, we're gonna put that. Toby's the heartbeat. I mean, Toby, Toby pumps, pumps blood, pumps energy to this entire property, to this entire lodge, and to everybody that works here. We, uh, myself included, all depend on him. Good luck, guys. Bye, Toby. Bye, Toby. Toby completely is, is, is a massive part um, to this place being successful and also this place feeling like home to people. Press out on that blade hard. Put the stupid. He's got an amazing ability, I think, that him and I both share, which is to make friends with people and, 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 and just show genuine interest in, in other people's lives. Did you hear if, if Ishkalak came back in the Football match in it? They were down 3-0. Nah, I don't think so. They lost, huh? Yeah, he, that guy works hard like nobody I've ever seen. I mean, just a beast. I love Jesse. <laughs> Who knows loves Jesse? <laughs> Who? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know nobody not like Jesse. So he's a cool guy.
to come into a small town with a language barrier that's huge, almost no experience, is a kind of a testament of his understanding of people and kind of the value of, of relationships and friendships and, and building things that are bigger than just a lodge. <laughs> yeah, right. I got to see from the, the ground up of Jesse's whole growth through this program and growth through this culture. And it's been cool, it's been fun to watch. I mean, he, he came down here with as much Spanish as I have, which is nothing, and he's put the language together real quick. And it's been an effort that he's been willing to put into this. And you see it when you come down here. You see his relationship with everyone and, and how much people here appreciate him just as much as he appreciates them and the work that they do. I really appreciate when a lodge can really participate in the culture and in the town and with the people and Jesse has cultivated a solid not just working relationship but really genuine friendship with every guide, every every staff member that he employs and he's he's made it a point or made it a priority to to be part of this community and I, I, I think that's holds so much value and obviously so does he because he's prioritized it he's made it happen I was a good student but I wasn't driven in the sense that that I wanted to be a doctor or a lawyer or a politician or or an engineer but I underestimated, I think, my own ambition. I think a lot of us do that all the time. You know, we kind of come up with a long list of reasons of, of why I can't do this or why I can't be this person, especially those of us that maybe aren't, you know, getting perfect scores on their SATs and straight A's and going to be an engineer. You know, there's this group of us that has passion for things and, and has intelligence in other areas. For me, I started to figure out, okay, Jess, you're not stupid. You have intelligence in a bunch of other areas and you love fly fishing and so it started to slowly evolve for me and i and I, I would hope that there's a lot of other kids out there like me that can do a lot of things it might not be owning a lodge it might not be being a fly fishing guide but trying to do something for themselves and try to just continue to let themselves lead and continue to follow what it is you're good at and also what you want to be good at Certainly I wasn't good at speaking Spanish, certainly I wasn't, had no accounting skills and all these things that are still tough for me, but the fact that I love what I'm doing so much has finally given me some, some drive that maybe I lacked in chemistry class, you know, like that never, that flame never lit up for me, but once I was able to, to correctly find my motivations and, and, and really have something I wanted, man, it started to light up, it started to light up and so that's, that's the goal I think for a lot of young people is figure out what is going to motivate you correctly and figure out what it is that you really do want. And then once you have that, everybody has that ability and that get up and go to try to make those things happen. 